So it's already that time again for another unhinged Target unboxing video. So I'm going to start with the small stuff first. Um, first I got these Sanrio friends. Obviously Hello Kitty and this is Karomi. Thought they would be the perfect size to go with the third graders. Why do they make these things so hard to open? So obviously a lot of the stuff I buy are meant for them because they're my favorites. Perfect size. And then we also have. Sophie's room when I actually put it together. <laughs> the first big thing we have is it's another our generation like mini set. It's the fabulous fun vanity set. I've kind of pre-cut these so I won't struggle with them as much. So I won't end up with a 30 minute video like last time. This is Sophie's room. Because she is the girly girl out of my crew. So it comes with little makeup brushes. Makeup brushes are oversized, but they'll probably still work. Pencils and mascara and stuff. That's too big. It does have storage, so you can put everything that comes in the set with it. All right. Let's see what else is in here. Shimmer eyeshadow palette, face wash, mascara wand, too big. <laughs> I mean, it's hit or miss. Half the stuff works. That's like that Rio de Janeiro bum cream or whatever it is that I see on TikTok all the time. Beauty Blender. Probably face powder. There's a, another makeup brush. And the last thing is this little, uh, it's probably lip gloss which is also too big. But when it's in the background, you know, in photos, people probably won't notice that it's too big. <laughs> this also comes with a chair. Let's get this open. The chair has a little bow in the back. This one. Super cute. Oh, we fall off. All right, so the next set. I'm not going to open this one because it's kind of self-explanatory what it is, um, shopping cart. 
and then it has more groceries in it for me to put in my pantry from the last video. Um, I actually I bought this when I bought um, everything from the previous video, but um, it wasn't in the same bag, so I forgot about it. <laughs> and then when I went to the store yesterday to buy this other stuff, I was like, I know I have a shopping cart somewhere. So the last thing is the perfectly fresh fridge. And when I had lost that footage from the last video, um, one of the things I had mentioned in that video was the story of why, you know, or well, how shrimp started talking in the first place. <laughs> because shrimp is a talking dog. And um, the story behind that was Danby was doing her chores and she had to clean the fridge. And obviously, you know, when you start cleaning the fridge, you go from the top and work your way down to the bottom. So, you know, you're obviously not dropping crumbs on stuff you've already cleaned. So, when Danby was throwing stuff out the, the fridge, Shrimp ate something really nasty off the floor. And all of a sudden, she started gagging and coughing. And then she was like, you just tried to kill me. <laughs> and that's how she started talking. There's a lot of nice details of crisper on the bottom, drinks, drink tray, even on the back, they have details on the back too. So, let's see, food stuffs it comes with. Are these like eggs? <laughs> they have regular eggs in here. So I'm assuming they're like organic eggs, free range chickens. And then we have a rotisserie chicken. A watermelon. Got some milk. Some really big raspberries, romaine lettuce, um, looks like a strawberry smoothie, a two liter of obviously diet soda. Then this one was on the top. We have this cake. It's supposed to be scented. <coughs> uh, that smells disgusting. <laughs> uh, we have bow tie pasta. We got some jello. Pudding, I think. Tray of butter. Some gyo um, dumplings, gyoza. And then just the weeds for the last two because they, they fail. Yeah, the cake, it says right here that the cake is scented. It doesn't say what it's supposed to smell like. And I have, I really have no clue. But um, yeah, other than that, that, that was, that's my last haul. And hopefully my last one because I haven't seen anything like 
new or spectacular the last couple of times I went. Like they had a, um, they had this table where you could like wash dogs at, but all the props that came with it were too big. And it was too much for just like a table and a wash basin. And then other than that, I did like the, the cafe place that they had, but I need to, I need a dedicated space for that before I get any more of the bigger play sets. But that's it for now. Thank you for joining me in my unusual unboxing. Bye.